We have officially reached day 14 <laughs> in our quarantine stay. Jess, how are you feeling about our two weeks so far? I just want a nap. Yeah. 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 What has been the high, the highest high of the two weeks? This week on Tuesday, mm -hmm. we had a holiday. Mm -hmm. So we got to relax and look out our tiny window and take a nap. And what has been the lowest low? Um, the day when we threw away an entire meal because we deemed it inedible. Oh, that's a good one. Or how about the evening where the alarm went off at 2 a.m. and no one fixed it until 5.30 a.m. That was a pretty good one. We are about to head to our city, Hefei, and we'll see how it goes from there. Hao and welcome back. We are currently on our last day at our fourth quarantine hotel and we figured we'd just shoot out a really quick update for how we are doing. So Jess, how have the last two weeks been? <laughs> so how are we doing? <laughs> We're okay. I think quarantine started getting to us. The days all blurred together. We feel really tired but we don't know why because we're not doing anything. Yeah, we're just stuck in this room. Yeah, we will be able to walk out next Friday. We also wanted to tell you where the heck are we right now? A couple weeks ago, we flew into Shanghai and then took a bus to the southern part of our province, which is the Anhui province. From there, we took a van up to our city, Hefei. And then after our third hotel, we were smashed into a tiny car with all five of our suitcases and brought to our fourth hotel which we are currently in the city limits right now. So, Jess, hmm. what has our living situation been like the past two weeks? Give us a short description. Well, for our third hotel, we were blessed with a ginormous window and a balcony that we were not allowed to walk on, <laughs> but we could look out and see green. Um, so that was really wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, it was mm -hmm. nice to have more space. This week, our fourth hotel is a little mini room again. As you can see with As the door you can see right there. Behind us. <laughs> but we're okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's been a miracle that we can stay together. I yes. think the last three hotels have really wanted us to stay separated. Mm -hmm. When we showed up to our fourth hotel, we actually saw that the helper had two key cards for us and we were like, mm-mm. The last two weeks teaching has been going mostly pretty good. Last week it was my turn to teach in the bathroom and this week it is Jess's turn to teach in the bathroom. So when we get out of quarantine, what lays ahead of us for teaching? Mm. So even when we are released from quarantine, we will continue teaching online from our apartment. And this is a good thing and a bad thing. Mm. A bad thing because we really desire to meet students in person and be able to have those physical touch points. But it's also a good thing because as students are stuck on campus with us, we kind of have almost like a captive audience. Students have kind of latched on to our adventure journeying through quarantine. <laughs> and every week, some of them will ask us, oh, so where are you this week? So we're really looking forward to meeting them in person and spending some meaningful time together on campus. As we get nearer to the end of our quarantine time, 
we decided this was a good opportunity to address some of the frequently asked questions. So here are some questions from a couple of our family members mm -hmm. um, that we thought would be kind of fun to include in these videos. First question, what has our favorite hotel been? Hmm. Favorite hotel? Mine would probably be this one, actually. Mm -hmm. Hotel number four in Hefei City. It's my favorite because they don't come to our door <laughs> and take our temperatures. So at in, random times, at random times in the day, I feel a lot less stressed out here. I would probably say hotel number three. Even though we might have gotten into trouble with the balcony, it was still a beautiful view and the room was really spacious. So mm -hmm. it was nice to have a place to put all of our stuff. Question two, what was our least favorite meal? <laughs> or meals. <laughs> it hasn't been that bad. My least favorite meal was probably at our second hotel. Mm. It was a dinner maybe day four, day five we were there and we had our nice lovely intestines as our meat option. But the worst part was my cucumbers I think were cooked in the same oil as the intestines. <laughs> so every time I was eating a cucumber it tasted like I was just eating an intestine. There was one meal where I think both of the meat dishes were entrails. I think one of them was liver mm -hmm. and one of them was just an entire fish, just a whole fish. <laughs> Question three, tell us about some meaningful interactions with students. Yes. Oh, I have a tell good us, story. Jess. This happened actually two days ago. The topic of my discussion lesson was based around ways that we communicate love in different languages and especially in English. Mm. Um, and one of the questions my student asked me was how they can express love to their family. Mm. Because in Chinese, they have one way to say I love you, which is very strong, well, I need. But you wouldn't really say this to your parents or to someone you're not like immediately close with, mm -hmm. like uh, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a husband, or a wife. He really wanted to let his mom know that he loves her a lot. And he really wanted to know how to gain the courage mm -hmm. to tell her, well, I need, before she's too old to understand him. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, dear teacher, can you tell me why is this so hard for me mm. to express how much I love my mom? Mm. And how can I tell her this in a way that is less intimidating? So that was a really meaningful interaction. Yeah. Question number four, what is the weirdest thing that has happened to us? <laughs> I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> I think I have the best story on this one. <laughs> Probably. Probably. So a couple nights ago, I got out of bed, Normal evening, just need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't want to wake Jess up because as you can see, our room is quite small. So I tried to slide the door and make sure, you know, was, everything was okay. Finish up in the bathroom, go to open the door, and all of a sudden, the door is stuck. Like, it actually won't move. <laughs> and it's like 1.30 in the morning and I can't get out of the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm like, Jess has been sleeping for a couple hours. I really don't want to wake her up but I don't want to sleep in the bathroom either. <laughs> we started panicking because we're in quarantine, so we can't call anyone like, <laughs> to come up with tools and fix the door, right? And we're like banging on the door and we're pushing it and we're lifting it and it just won't move. It and Austin move. goes, it's okay, I'll be fine. Just hand me my pillow. <laughs> and I was like, Austin, it's not that big of a deal, but we have to teach at eight o'clock in the morning. What are we gonna do? Uh, so we managed to get the door open mm -hmm. and we are not gonna try to close it again. So in order to partition the bathroom off to be my office each morning we take apart Austin's bed mm -hmm. and put his mattress in front of the doorway so I can pretend to have a door and then he lets me in and out during break times <laughs> so that's probably one of the weirdest things we've done in quarantine probably but hey we're making it work next week is our final week in quarantine Woo! and we would love to make a Q&A video for all of you who have been watching and following our journey so please uh, put your questions in the comments, anything about China right now or anything about our quarantine process that we maybe didn't cover in past mm -hmm. videos. And we would love to update you guys next week with our final quarantine video. Mm -hmm. Please be mindful of the words that you use. 
um, we will enable the comment section for this particular mm -hmm. video to collect some questions for our Q&A. Um, but just be cognizant of what you say and how you say it, but you're all professionals. You're rock stars. <laughs> you guys got this. You'll be fine. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks for watching and see you guys next week.